say you want to change the color of your window, whether it's a dynamic window or not. If it's dynamic window, obviously you have some color options here, but sometimes they can be limiting and maybe are not exactly what you want. In this case, it is not exactly what I want. So I want to go in and I want to change this and I want to make it more of a gray. Now, whether or not Marvin offers this or not, I'm not sure, but for my project, I just want to have the opportunity to kind of have it the color I want. In order to do that, you can change these things. You just have to go into the edit mode of the window. And you'll notice that because these are dynamic components and because there's a lot that can be changed, you may have to go in kind of far to be able to select just the components that you want to change. So I need to go into edit mode, which will be to double click on the inside and now, if I come in with the paint bucket tool, I can change all those things. So it might take a little bit more time on the dynamic components, but it's well worth it because once you do it, it will stay that way. So you don't have to do it again because you can always make a, a copy of it. Now, sometimes you might have to spend a little bit more time kind of going all the way around and making sure that you've got all the little parts because the dynamic windows, they're made up of smaller groups. So now if I close this out, I've been able to change the color of my window. All of these are still customizable. And as I said, once you have it and you have your grill pattern set up, you can just very easily make a copy by selecting it, clicking the move tool and holding the option key down in order to make a copy of it.